I don't know what you will choose to call me. You can call me a uh, fraudster because I'm a Nigerian. Yes, you say 419. I can decide to accept it. But the moment I accept it, it affects my mentality. It affects the way I relate with you. Yeah. I will be struggling to make sure you accept me. Mm. Do you see? Mm. You can call me 419. I refuse to answer 419. Yeah. I say I'm a Nigerian. Yes. Okay? That's my name. Mm. You don't change it for me. Yeah. All right? Now, because when you call me something, it becomes a function of what I carry. Mm. And that is what's happening to Africans. Wow. So it, 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 it's not enough. And, and when you see the Chinese man, and you see the African, you will see the difference. Yeah. You will see the difference. There's something about the mentality. Wow. What a brilliant submission by your guest. I'm enjoying the show. Uh, this is from Ketis Hassan from Kakari, from Karikari Bako, Tamale. Okay. This one says that, hmm, I feel sad. When I remember how Europeans subjected us and all still, and, and are still doing, I remember also how Africans were dumped into the sea when slavery made illegal uh, ha, 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 ha. real his okay this person sent us a, a picture interesting history of the 1570 uh, 15, 15, 1752 calendar of September and all of that uh, just to confirm Gregory's um, calendar and all of that good to have this man in Africa else we wouldn't have known all this but as my christian brothers and sisters listening i guess they are listening <laughs> i'm grace annabelle from tema i like your show uh god bless you all tell the man to give his number out please uh, this is hafiz from kaswa your guest is on point just search on the internet from what he told us the seven day weekend meanings of the names and the person have sent us uh the meaning as he was talking wow. to us here uh, just to confirm that uh good this one also has also, this one also sends us an, an an image confirming what uh uh, uh mr ogo was telling us right now from the from the internet also this one also says that um uh, this man is a different person please let's know him better so we can follow him via all his platforms uh, oh. uh we like him but african tv all the way this is nelson from kumasi okay this one says that hey this man is really doing a good job he's speaking amazing he's speaking an amazingly true you want to say amazing truth or something the africans have to structure their culture very well this is inside dnd accra this one says that i think corruption in mpp government <laughs> Uh, <laughs> everywhere you take your politics to guys hello good afternoon i'm really enjoying the, sh the program it is very educative i personally don't agree with people who really base everything of this on foreign culture african speaking the language of people who more treats us is ev uh, uh, everything they do and even when um the uh they rebuke their native language uh, wow this man is dope i love him hey madam okay please don't call the whatsapp numbers we'll open the phone lines from now it's 142 so we are opening the phone lines for you guys now hi good afternoon we are still under slavery this is and uh, says daddy you are right okay uh hmm, 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 hmm. uh this message um, this one says that are we trying no are we not trying to let them know that they have enslaved us your message isn't very 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 clear uh, please don't call this number like i said hi mr host please tell this noble man to write a book so that we can buy and change our way of life thanks matthias inside techie man this one says that this man this man you are wonderful but i will be happy if we can have his contact on your facebook page i wish you i wish you can be my teacher you are a great historian this one says that i'm farouk from kaswa this man is awakening africa my first time watching you thank you so much this one says that i'm prosper i go from volta region i'm really enjoying this discussion we need more education on this uh wow 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 thank you for making us number one uh i'm really enjoying the program i've been looking to hear this particular message are you not citing africans against whites that's not the idea so so what should we do now african religion is not barbaric what is the way forward there has to be a reorientation okay there has to be a reorientation mm. and 
and and the major focus has got to be our education system okay you know we need to we need to learn about our ancestors we need to okay. know that our ancestors were not savages mm -hmm. we need to know that our ancestors were not hidden they were not infidel they were not barbaric mm -hmm. you know those words that were used to describe us yeah. okay which has made us disconnect from j our j people j just a minute you mm -hmm. can call the phone lines right now we are opening the screens uh, uh sorry the numbers we are putting on your screen so please make sure you call us right now so you can share your thought please don't be calling the whatsapp numbers we'll open the phone lines right now so you can call us right now and have a discussion with us you know so so we we, we need to we need to bring ourselves back yeah. okay and understand that we were we're we not what people say we are mm -hmm. i'll tell you something you know the synod of the catholic church yes they have a document mm -hmm. and one of the policies mm -hmm. it says that the pope is mm -hmm. god on earth the pope is a god on earth the pope is god on earth and has the power to alter any teaching if it's in the interest of the church the documents are there people can read and find out that's serious people can read so the pope can out. one day decide to amend the lord's prayer but a lot of things have been amended and that's the very very interesting thing remember that when you look into the scriptures okay if you're talking about the the, the position of a bishop it was the position of a man well now you have women that are bishops so, so you, you, it doesn't mean that the word of God, who is supposed to be yesterday, today, uh, the same yesterday, today, and forever, is evolving. And it's a story say, of Jesus true. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> your, your name and where you're calling from? This one from authority. All right, F1. <laughs> okay, let's hear you, sir. <laughs> okay, let's hear you, sir. Hello? Unfortunately, we are losing the the the, the caller. Uh, I, I asked your question, and you you, you kept yeah. laughing. Okay, we, we have the caller okay. back. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, yes, I can hear you. You're live from Pan African TV, Ghana's number one uh, television station now. Uh, I think we should. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot handle the call. Please, if you call us. And you want to talk to us make sure you turn down the volume of your tv set don't listen to the conversation via the tv please listen to the conversation via the telephone uh, uh that the, the, the phone that you are using to call it gives us a feedback which which, which makes it hard to communicate yes you asked your question it's a story of jesus true um, pay your research because now you from everything you are telling us people are home and they are very fine and it looks as if every single detail you have given us is very true so it gives us confidence to ask you certain questions based on your research and findings is the story of jesus true did he exist i mean did he ever exist okay so, yeah, hello okay hello good afternoon sir good afternoon your name and where you are calling from uh this is alpha calling from labadi all right alpha let's hear you Sorry, la 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 <laughs> You know, thank you. What, I was I was just gonna say about something here. about that. What, what we're talking about is on point. He's on point, because eh? For some time now, uh, Africans we've been we've been put in the dark, and it, you know, I I I sometimes you know I sometimes look at the fact that every time you see the angels, <laughs> uh, God, images of God, angels, painted white, and the devil is all. Painted black. Yeah. So to, to, to not talk too much, you know, I've been following great teachers like lately, and to not talk too much, the point is we need a restructuring process that it will be systemized. And everything will have to start from the roots to the top. Because of our systems now, when you look at it, we don't owe any big system. Any company that we have here is connected to the white. You know, and our mm. governments are going on, going in for loans and all that. And they even tell you what you're going to use your money for. Yeah. So how are we going to grow as a people? Yeah. Okay. You know, so Thank we have you. To go back and then restructure everything. Okay. Thank you so much for 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 for. for okay. To him. All right. Sure. Thank you so much for 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 the call. Is is Jesus? let me be careful of my question did jesus ever came to die or did he does he exist because christians believe he still lives okay um i'm just gonna i'm gonna try out a challenge mm. and ask people to to read a, a few more things and okay. then maybe another time we can give a direct answer to the question yeah. so I'd, I'd, I'd like i'd like people to to um to look for a guy called or the story of a guy called 
Josephus Flavio. Josephus Flavio. Okay. Um, he's 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 been given credit for a lot of things but when they read they okay. will they will they will understand okay but then i will also try to say to people that are watching that unfortunately hmm. when you go through history there is no book no information okay. i'll be back hello good afternoon. Uh, afternoon yes your name and where you're calling from sir this book calling from what are you all right but let's hear you chairman Okay. I'm the next program. Thank you so much. Yeah, and your mom about is very rich. Ah. He's a rich mission personnel. He knows history. Mm. But my point thing is, we have done so far. We did Christianity. So what are we going to do now? Revive the culture of Africa. Yes, that's exactly where I'm coming to, and I'm sure he's seen it. I'm trying <laughs> to ask him, the distance ever come? Now, if he's able to tell me he never existed, then what he's trying to say, because... Christians are followers of Christ. So if he never, if the man was never there, then it means we have to go back to point of libation and close down churches and stuff. But mm -hmm. if he admits he existed, then all we need to do is maybe the scripture was right, but the people who that brought it used it to do certain barbaric acts and and sport the whole thing. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm still looking into it. Thank you so much for 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 calling. Uh, I'll try to blend. This one's a, uh, I am Jesse Okafu, my brother. I am a pure Igbo man, Igbo man, as you are. I and my people have never abandoned Igbo's calendar. I still believe in Iru Agu as Igbo custom required, which is, confir which is confirmation in the church. Many Igbo still with, with our custom purely, we are with you. Please, I need Mr. Nweke's number. As an Igbo man in Accra, I have something to discuss with him regarding our custom. And he puts his number here for us to give to you. Pan-African TV, you are on top. I, I, you are on top. I have been imparted this afternoon with this wisdom from this man. It's really awesome. This is not knowledge, but wisdom. This is Frank from Paga. This one also says that, uh, good morning, I'm enjoying your program. Please, information on the 14th February, how do I get it? You, you are about celebrating your vows day, so you, you want to be sure. Um, wow, <clears throat> this man is dope. I'm Ras Kwabna. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, this is the teaching from the most, from the most high to us Africans. Uh, whoa, it even pains me how our leaders always brag of of, uh, I've been to Oxford University, I've been there, and come out with corrupt corrupt practices. Please, this is uh, Black Power from Coco Blanco, the <laughs> Shin Token. <Hey. laughs> Good afternoon. God bless you all. And please, I'm Israel from Insawam. Please tell your guest to tell us the name of the book he makes reference to so that we can go and look for it. Long life to you. Uh, let me read one last. Mm. When you want to show your dislikes to them, you become the Thomas Sankaris, John Garris, the Kwame Nkrumahs, the Patrice Lumumbes, the, um, the Amelka Gabras. Amelka Cabral. Yes. Ken Soro, Ken Soro Wiwa. Ken Soro Wiwa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, my Africa. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, I'm in Canada. I'm calling from Gordon. Okay, let's hear you, sir. Yeah. Come from East, all right, all right. Let's hear you from Bono East. Yeah, yeah. I, I really thank my brother for at least expressing the parties of the Europeans. Mm. Hello. Okay. Are you listening? I'm listening, sir. Yeah. Uh, in the Bible, our brother Moses wrote what we call the Decateur. The European family brought what we call the Pentateuch. Okay. They took five books after the Bible. Okay. And that's only five. Mm. And the second book, uh, Moses, if you're able to pay for yourself, you can conjure money from that book. Really? That you you, you, you can chant money book. from the seventh book of Moses. Even the other five books. I think I saw some I saw some in the shop in Holland. <laughs> and there is no not a single person known as Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know. Oh, I'm like I went. Uh, I went to an Afro yeah. shop to yeah. buy some cream, and I saw yeah. the books there. Uh, what, what, uh, but I'm saying, really on point. All right. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so much. Hi, Mr. Host. Please tell the noble man to write a book. I've read that. This one says that. Please, I want to know from the noble man: Is Jesus black man or white man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Oh my God. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I've not been able to answer the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was going to say that yeah. um, if they read through history, mm. there is no book apart from the Bible and the Quran that talked about Jesus. There's no history recorded There's, book? No. Apart from Bible and Quran. Apart from the Bible and the Quran. That, huh? that uh, talks about Jesus Christ. That talks about Jesus Christ. Yeah, anybody, I mean, go and search, okay? And, and let the historians, let the I, teachers, let the theologians, let the philosophers, let anyone that is saying hello. that it's not true call in and say, and say whatever it hello. is. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Good afternoon. Your name and where you're calling from, sir. Hello. Please, please take this person off the line. Uh, unfortunately, we, we've lost the person. You know, I was watching a video on, on YouTube, and somebody went to Israel and was moving shop to shop, asking people, did Jesus ever live in Israel? And they were Jews. And they were like, oh, they don't believe, but they just had to live somebody who tried to say he was... And like, they, they mimic our Christ. They make him look as if they, the Jews, that Jesus is one of them, don't even believe he existed. One of the greatest values of the story of Jesus... To the Israelis is tourism. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, tourism. Yeah, yeah, but tourism. they have places they it's say Jesus revenue. was born here. This is where Jesus, you know, was was uh, was was buried. This is the the place the cross was. They even have places where they show you the the the, uh, the, uh, the Lot's wife. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> any of that. Okay, and like I like I said, I will I will never I will never contest with the history of a people, you know. I won't I won't I won't. Do you believe contest. in the Bible? Because you see, I believe that the Bible is the story of the Jewish people, uh, including the New Testament. It's it's the story of a people, you know, and and people just like Confanoche. Right, yes, just like Confanoche. People just have, like great men in Nigeria, in, yes, in Gabon, yes, in Sierra Leone. Yes, people have the right to their story and I, I i will be foolish to sit down here and say it's not true it's the story of the jewish people but, and i respect their story but pastors mentioned the name of jesus lay their hands on people and the power in the name of jesus get people to fall and get imparted with the holy spirit the hindus the is, hindus is, is this drama the hindus pray according to the guitar and they get answers the muslim prays according to the quran and he gets answers okay people do not understand the concept of faith when people understand the concept of faith they will stop giving credit to the things that don't deserve the credit now now i'm scared no there's nothing to be scared about you, you are saying no. that if i have faith i can even pray the through faith. this phone as a medium and things will work the faith is about you the, the first thing we must understand is, the, is that the faith is about you. And that is also another, you know, misconstruction, even, even among the, the churchgoers and all of that. Because even mm. when you look into the teachings, okay, it says if you have faith, have faith, believe in God. The concept of God and the, and the personality of God is not in contention. It's about the things that have been imposed on people as to how they should follow him or worship him. But I'm telling you, everybody identifies with what they identify with because as far as they are concerned, they get answers. Mm. It's not about that thing. Yeah. It's about their faith. Yeah. They're two different things. Wow. And until we're able to understand this thing, there are a lot of things we'll not be able to, to carry on and carry along very, very well. Yeah. And a very interesting question, and, and this might be, you know, we might not have the time to say any other thing for me, but has anybody, any African, ever wondered Abraham, that is referred to as the father of nations, is also the father of the three most controversial religions on the face of the earth. We know of Christianity and Islamic religion. And Judaism. Oh, yeah. He is the father of the three. They all proceeded out of him. Mm. Now, when you look at the Quran and the Bible, the stories are similar. Yeah. Only that the credits have been given to different people. Yeah. Isn't that something worrisome for, for us? That the same story is being told in two different ways by two different units, and it's still okay. We pretend it's okay. And everybody have their own ideology of and heaven and, and how they will get salvation. And, and all of that. So which religion is right? Good, fundamental question. But, but and it's a God, is God God of confusion? These are all fundamental questions. And so, and, so, and so the Christian says that the Muslim is the infidel, and the Muslim says that the Christian is the infidel, and the Jew and the Judaist says that both of them don't know what they're doing. 
but but at what point are we going to ask and, and answer the very fundamental questions about our lives? I, I, well, when, when 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 I was in Belgium, I saw people who are I mean those who practice Judaism. What, how, what do we call them? They are Jews or yeah, the, the Judaists. Or the Judaists. The, yeah. I saw them with some big hats. Black hats. Black right. hats, big yeah. one, even kids, big hats, yeah. and they are practicing the same religion. Yes. And it's like they may think even we, the modern Christians, are not even doing things right. Yeah, but, but that's what they say. That's what they say. They say we are deceived. That's what they say. And so hmm. the, 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 I am not, you see, the, the point here is we must reorient ourselves. So you think I, I should still go back to my family God and, and worship the, the God? Because that is our own. I think that every African must go through the process of self-discovery mm. and, and reject that notion that we were barbarians, we didn't know God, we were infidels and all of that. Yeah. Until we're able to settle that in our hearts, we will not find a direction mm. in terms of spirituality. Mm. And so that is the first responsibility that we have, mm. every single one of us. Because as you trace your history, you will mm. see God every step of the way and it yeah. is exciting. Yeah. It's beautiful. So you believe there's God? Of course. I believe. Among my people, okay, we don't just believe, we know that there's a God, okay, who, which we refer as Chupu, Chupu meaning chu, Chukuku or Chuku, okay, so we know that there's a God, we know about the ch uh, Chupu Kika Biyama, okay, the God, um, the almighty God that is creator of all things, we recognize him, we know him, okay, and then we also have, you know, the, the Chi, some people might call them angels today yeah okay but we have chi and and we recognize that they walk with us they are present with us and no the the, the african spirituality was not impacting fear in anybody mm. okay but was guiding us to know that every choice you make everything you do has consequences yeah. every day people go to court and other places and swear by the quran or the bible they are even lying in the midst of it, lying through their teeth, and nothing yes. happens to them. Yes. You don't pick your four from my place and say and swear and say, if you if you <laughs> didn't do this, let thunder <laughs> you fire you. you don't and thunder will not fire you. You go fire your hair, go scatter down for the cause. <laughs> 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 it's such it's, it's, it's such an amazing brother, time with you. Uh, uh, it, it has yeah. to to bring this, uh, but but there's a popular request. You know, uh, Val's Day. Uh, from, from what you have said, it means me. I'm not celebrating Valentine's Day. Apart, apart from the, you know, the other interesting thing about the Valentine's Day, it's not just the, it's not just the fertility feast season. Oh. Okay, it is also the feast of a she wolf called Lupacalia. Hey, Lupacalia. They can also search and find out. Hey, yes. Wow. Now this, all these things were imposed on us. Mm. And then we are made to throw away the things we stand for. Mm. And then they tell you it's the Feast of St. Valentine. They tell you Christmas is the yeah. Feast of St. Nicholas. Those are elves. They are all elves. And elf, elf is, is part of the European mythology. And what you even call the mm. devil. I, I dare people to go and check and then look for the image. I-M-P. Imp. Imp. That's what you call the devil today. Go search and see the image. Wow. They are all elves. They are all part of the European mythology. They are all part of the European mythology. You say this one is St. Nicholas. They say it's Father Christmas, Santa Claus, and all that. They are all elves. Hmm. Wow. So, so where do we stand? How do we imbibe the culture of other people and believe it so much like it's ours? The, there's, a, there's a psychologist called Ivan Pavlov. He talked about the, 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 the principle of classical conditioning, mm -hmm. how people can be made to walk in a certain path and they think they are actually responding positively. Yeah. Okay? We are all victims of classical conditioning. We have accepted the way of life of other people, the barbarism of other people using their words, mm -hmm. the savagery of other people, and we have accepted it as our way of life, rejecting our Do you own. pray? I do pray. I pray every day. So your tradition, do you have a book you read? Did you that that is that is the journey that is the journey that every African must undertake and one of the first things it's a it's a prayer that I have that one day our leaders the African Union can come together and write a you know a, a strongly worded letter it could be friendly okay mm. to these countries where African stories African artifacts African information are hiding in their museums and tell them we want them back you know why those things they took away contain the stories that will help us build our history in the future and if we don't do that we will continue to meddle with things it was, that it was, it was very nice us. when i saw i told you there was a museum in holland where they had combs 
comb, like real comb that our forefathers used yeah, to but they said, them. But they said we're barbarians and the, white mirror, man, like, yes, and the white man brought mirror to us and brought us comb. And, and, and we believed it. That's what's in our history books. Wow. That, that's what we gave and gave our people. We that's that's not clothes. true. They have, they have, have shoes. Quite very nice. We didn't have clothes. They, they had did. ceramics, like beautiful things. Look that dates the back to the 14, the 13, the 14. Look at, like, look at the mentality. Wow. That's what we're taught. Wow. Uh, this is where time would, would permit us. But before before you go, I was saying that uh, Val's Day is just next week. I, I'm looking forward <laughs> that we can treat something about love. I, I look forward uh, if, to if it. If possible, well. how to know if your partner loves you or if your partner is cheating on you. Or no cheating. No. <laughs> if, if your partner loves you, or cheating on you, anything that helps to enlighten people as we prepare for the for the for the Valentine's Day. I'll speak to the producer, then we know uh, uh, how, how best it will this. Be an honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yes. This will be if we, if we follow what how the message people are bringing here. I'm not sure we we'll live here. I met your guest. Uh, I met your guest before, but I don't know he's so powerful like this. Uh, wow. My brother, please ask this man if 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 he prays. If yes, whom does he pray to? I've asked already. Uh, Igbo custom is a religion and supposed to be worship or just a custom which has a label on it. Uh, I just tune into your program. Please ask your host if there's a man who existed by name Flavius just just Josephus. Yes. Yeah. So we'll talk okay. About it. Please. Uh, what's your call number? This one says that please let Pan African. Team TV give you three hours. Three hours. <laughs> Would you pay me? <laughs> Let Pan African give you three hours. This is a program we need. Uh, we don't want any program that doesn't and doesn't educate and empower uh, as uh, really why are you laughing plenty plenty like that <laughs> my brother please ask this man if he prays uh, I've asked that question already thank you so much uh, this is this is where time would okay we will treat that next week all right that's fine so I think next week we would we'll have that topic uh, uh, treated uh, my name is Richmond Amofa Sapon and uh, uh, tomorrow we shall be here with another exciting edition of Youth Empowerment Television Show. If you say a prayer, say some for us. Chidi and Kweku Delicious would be here with the Swift Show. Uh, 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 don't go anywhere. Just just relax for us. You know, Pan-African TV, we have lots of amazing programs uh, for you. Uh, thank you so much, sir, once again. God bless you. God bless and so uh, I'm sure within the week before next week, should the topic, we'll have an exclusive interview on, on your amazing institution. It's such a wonderful place you have, and we have to tell the world about it and how you're helping Pan-African TV. All right. So thank you so much. His number is... Uh... Okay, so if you want to get to him, just send me a WhatsApp message on the number you were chatting. Send me the messages. I'll forward to him. Fish, un unofficially, I'm his manager. So book him for your for your programs. Get him speak on your programs. And don't worry. Just make sure you WhatsApp and let's have that arrangement right now. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>